studios in New York City. This is Charlie Rose. Welcome to the broadcast. I am Paul Nurse, president of Rockefeller University, sitting in tonight for Charlie Rose. We begin this evening with a conversation about science with Brian Green and with Alan Alder. Brian, you're about to launch the World Science Festival in 2008 here in New York City. I believe that's going to be a real multimedia uh, approach to um, science communication. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, the, uh, the World Science Festival, which we're now developing, is going to be, we envision, the preeminent science for the public event that happens on the planet. It's going to be an event where we have Nobel laureates and cutting-edge researchers, the best popularizers, coming to New York and giving lectures and panel discussions and debates to the general public. But also, combined with that, will be an evening program during the days of the festival where there's music and theater and film and art, performance art that has a scientific core to it. So that, if you will, during the day, the audience can experience cognitive science, and in the evening, they can experience a more visceral component of science because Look, I, I fully believe that science is, is truly a full-body experience. I'm very interested in, in Brian's approach to what he just described, which is to give the people who come a chance to get the, the concepts from a purely scientific, technical point of view first, and then get into the metaphors. Or, or at least, however you introduce them, you can introduce them through metaphors. But, but not to get to the art until they have a chance to understand the concepts a little more specifically. Because I think there's this terrible danger of thinking, well, I saw this play that said that the universe was this bowl of jelly <laughs> or a loaf of bread with raisins in it, <laughs> so right. now I got it. <laughs> right. I don't, and I don't have to get any more deeply into that. What I sense is that there's a general excitement out there for science, for scientists, who are at the cutting edge of trying to push the boundaries of understanding. You know, I, I get letters from nine-year-olds and ten-year-olds who've read a book in science or seen a television program, and they're like, this is what I want to do with my life. I want to try to understand how the universe began. And they often have theories, even at that young age, about how it might have happened. <laughs> the wonder of nature is so extraordinary. And these guys, you guys, are poets, <laughs> true poets of nature. You see the beauty of the thing inside the thing, it down to the finest details and the organization of it and the way it grows and all of that. I mean, that's fascinating. Who's your audience going to be? I mean, uh, are they all going to be PhDs? No, it's for the general public, and a great effort will be made in curating the festival that there will be primers, there will be introductions to these subjects so that the novice can enter in in the morning and really follow the discussion throughout the day which is not to say that the person with a PhD won't get something out of it. I think he or she will. But this is really meant to bring in people to science from a variety of different levels, including, and in fact, focused on the novice. 